Hey everyone, welcome to Hegan Eruthil, and we have a build guide for Caesar. You guys have been requesting for this, and um, so far this is the best that I could do. I've been uh, focusing on upgrading her, ascending her, and giving her the best gear so far. And I've kind of play tested her for a while since I got her in that last um, summon video that we had. So, to start off, we will be discussing Caesar's uh, stats. So, stats to prioritize would, number one, be M resistance. Because this plays a lot in her skill. Um, I think three of her skills are actually dependent on this. So, we have, we have modifiers for her skill. So... Uh, MRES is going to be number one. Number two is going to be AD, depending on which active skill you are going to be activating, but it's going to be a priority nonetheless. Then you have HP for third priority. Then the last would be Arbor. Okay, so moving on to her recommended plays. Okay, so as far as recommended plays is concerned, I'm not recommending any three-star plays. Um, I don't think it will be beneficial for her. Um, first is going to be a four-star play. It's going to be Straw Girl. So M resistance of plus 10%. And also for three piece, it's going to be a burst damage taken is higher than 10 max HP. Then the overkill damage taken will be reduced by 20 this is the least of the four star that i am talking about the best four star for her is actually a new one that we're actually um seeing in the current banner right now it's going to be julian some of you have this already because I i'm sure you guys have been pulling for julian so uh, increase MRES also by 10. So upon entering battle, reduce damage taken by 15%. But this is going to be only for 12 times. So take note of that. But this is better than the other one. But in terms of 5 star, I am actually recommending this. This is actually the play of... Uh, the Really the play of, uh, of Caesar. So Su... Shuan. So this is going to be a 5 stars so or increase MRES by 15%. The 3 piece set is increase healing received by 10%, which she does on her own because she heals herself. Also, upon receiving healing, the next 3 basic attack speed is increased by 10, which is actually nice for her as well. And uh, each of the next 3 basic attacks will grant the character 3 ultimate energy the ultimate energy recharge effect can be triggered at most one time per second so this one is really her play so if you have this you can actually use this on on caesar already this is really um ideal for her kit okay so those are your recommended plays and we're off to her skill priorities Okay, so as for skill priorities, number one priority would be her active. As I've said, it would really depend on which one you're choosing because this one is going to be, is going to have you have her uh, AD uh, stat increased. So this one, but I'm not talking with this one. I'm actually going to tell you guys. This one is actually more on prioritizing healing for herself. So in, in which case you can use this, but I would rather do this, um, the other one, have this active, the Gleaming Snow, because this one is heals all allies around herself. This is better because she will act as a support healer as well. She will be crucial in some of the teams that I'll be discussing later in terms of what she works well with. So this one is best for her. This is the... I think the most uh, prioritized skill that you should go for. Next up is going to be her ultimate as second priority. This one is going to be granting healing and cleansing of three stacks of debuff and also a healing for herself. This one, if you, you know, if you have her play, the one that I discussed, um, 
it's going to be very very beneficial for her ultimate the last one is going to be you know not last one but the third one is going to be her passive this one is just uh, having devotion every time she receives healing devotion increases her emress by 10 to 15 again this scales as you level this up so this one the multiplier adds to her other stats but for me this will just be a plus because again you won't have a good enough skill if you don't level up her ultimate and her active first okay her last um, level up or priority would definitely be her basic attack since she is a guardian okay on to her awaken skill so at phase three she has um she already has a uh, damage mitigation so when hp below uh falls below 50 increase uh damage mitigation by 20 so you, this is actually preferable than this one upon entering Emres uh, increases by 60 for 10 seconds. Basically, you won't be needing this. You would be needing more of damage mitigation. At phase 4, so effect, uh, Lunar Cloud's effective rage is increased permanently. And this skill now depletes 20 of the target's ultimate energy. The other one is Gleaming Snow restores all allies. So these are the two skills that you are going to choose. Again, depending on which skill you're going to choose, you have to select here as well. I selected Gleaming Snow, so restores all allies within range um, HP by 150. Embrace and cleanse the crowd control stats on them. So definitely I'm going be going to getting the second one. As for phase five, so favor of God can now stack up to two. So favor of God duration extends by three seconds this refers to her ultimate let's just go back and make sure uh no favor of god is actually her passive so it's going to have um, can stack up to two and duration extended by three seconds i'd, I'd go with the duration for three seconds because um emres again plays with her skills and for phase six so descent of god of goddess duration is increased by five and this one duration ends restores self ultimate energy by 20 percent so i would go with restore self energy by 20 percent again so that she could spam her ultimate skill uh this is again her ultimate so it actually spams back to her ultimate if you choose uh this one restores self uh ultimate energy by 20 so it just recycles its energy when it ends so i would rather have this one so that is it for your awakened priorities and um if you're asking me what team works well with her definitely um, right now in PvP, I've seen a lot of top tier teams use her, Sirslit, and uh, the other one is going to be Basil in the front. Okay, number one is that she's a healer already, and you don't need to put up a healer at the back. So, usually for PvP teams, uh, they would have her, Basil, Sirslit, and uh, usually it's Rita at the back. That That is actually... Um, all firepower she does more of the healing so teams with no healer or half healer if you have a team wherein you don't have a full-time healer like six for example if you have live you could also put her in the front they could share healing duties together but if you don't have a healer she is actually perfect especially for pvp so you could have a lot of firepower with her team because instead of putting a healer, you could do more uh, with units or characters that have more damage or with AOE damage. And again, uh, out of at this point, in terms of all of the top uh, guardians, I think she's up there. If you have more copies of her, definitely she's going to be stronger. Uh, she's actually better than 
Then who else? Let me just take a look on the roster. Uh, she's actually better than Gildan. If I may say, in terms of her support and what she does, she's also better than Shero, definitely. Because for Shero, she only heals herself. But for her, she heals her old team and herself as well. So if you guys have um, Caesar already, so I'd like to hear from you. Comments on your build. And if I'm you know, correct in terms of the build that I'm recommending, please put them down in the comment section below. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.